Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. I have a question for you. Who is your ideal client? That client that you've worked with in the past, the, the price was right, the location was the area you like to work in, maybe the circumstances of the sale were the niche that you love to work in, military, moving across country, senior citizen, something like that. As you think of that ideal client, wouldn't it be nice to be able to clone that client and just have deals like that all throughout the year? Of course it would. Let me show you how you can do that using the data from your past clients that's in your CRM, your transaction manager, creating a list, handing that list to Facebook and telling Facebook, go find more of these people. I wanna do business with this type of person. It's called a lookalike audience. It's only gonna take three steps and pretty soon you'll have leads coming in that look exactly like your ideal client. You can start making deals with those people throughout the rest of the year. So here we go, let's get started. Step one, set up the sync. So the first thing we have to do is get the data from your CRM, get it from your transaction manager, synced into a Google Sheet so that we can filter it and pull out exactly who we want. Super easy to do, let me show you how. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to apination.com. We're gonna click on Discover Connections. There you're gonna see all the apps you can sync and automate together. I'm gonna to find Google Sheets, there it is. Click on that. And these are the apps that can sync with Google Sheets. So if you're doing business in Chime, if you're doing business in Dot Loop, Broker Mint, KV Core, Lion Desk, any of these apps, it's gonna have all the data for your ideal client. That's what we're gonna hook up to Google Sheets. So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and go with Dot Loop. I'll click on that. And we're gonna set up this sync from Dot Loop to Google Sheets. Super easy. It's gonna be similar for all of the apps. Step one is connect Dot Loop, so I'll click that. It's gonna take me out to dot loop. I'm gonna sign in and approve the connection. Great, now I'm gonna connect Google Sheets, similar thing. Click the button, choose the account I want this Google Sheet to live in. So this is gonna live in the Google Drive of this Google account and allow. All right, and here is the last step. So I'm gonna choose exactly what I wanna send over. If I'm gonna send over individual profiles or company profiles, if I wanna send over all existing loops, I absolutely do for this purposes. So make sure this box is checked. And then if I just wanna send over my information, I could do that. That way I can choose my ideal client. Or if you want, you can send over everybody's. And if this is a company account, you can choose to send over your company loops or you can just stick with the individual loops here. I'm gonna just go with the individual profiles for this case. I'm just trying to get the loops from my past clients into a Google Sheet so that I can use that to create that lookalike audience. This looks good, I'm gonna start the sync. Great, you can see it's actually creating quite a few different spreadsheets. I'm gonna give it some time it sends over batches of about 50 records every 15 minutes. So I'm gonna come back to this in a little bit once these spreadsheets are fully filled out with all the information from my database. But after you've given it some time, you can jump on into step two. And step two is filtering for your audience. So we're gonna take one of those spreadsheets, use the power of the spreadsheet to filter out exactly who we want, who those ideal clients are, and then we're gonna export it as a CSV. So here in Google Drive, you can see we've created the Google Sheets using the sync. I actually just want my loops sheet, so I'm gonna open that up. This is an example of what you would see in your loop sheet, just a ton of great information, all the data from your loops or from your transactions or just your records from your CRM. So this looks good. Now I just have to apply a filter and choose the type of clients I'd like to clone, create lookalikes for, and start advertising to. So to create a filter, super easy. There's this funnel right here. I'm just gonna click on that. It's gonna add a option for a filter on all the columns. You can see this little funnel next to all the headings. And now I can just go through and apply a filter to these different columns until I get the exact list of clients that meet my criteria. So for example, maybe I only wanna choose people whose status was 
sold or under contract. So people who had successful experiences with me, that's a good place to start. I could also filter for the transaction type here, maybe listing for sale or purchase. That would also be good. All right, another awesome option here is to only pull people from a certain zip code. So you can see I have a bunch of different zip codes, but maybe I only wanna pull audiences. I only wanna advertise to audiences in a particular zip code. So in this case, I only want one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, six, maybe these five. These are the hot zip codes I really wanna advertise to. So I'm just gonna select those. So now I have a smaller list. I might wanna consider adding some more zip codes in here. That looks good. Another column we might wanna filter on is the purchase and sale price. So maybe I'm trying to advertise to a particular price segment. I could do that. I'm just gonna create a filter here. Filter by condition is greater than $500,000 and okay. All right, so now we have our list. These are people who had a status where they sold or is under contract in the zip codes I'm looking for and at the prices I'm looking for. And you can do this with any of the columns you're pulling from your transaction manager or CRM. You could do it with city, you could do it with you could do it with the date it was added. You could do it with maybe bedrooms or bathrooms and kind of get an exact size of the house. It's totally up to you. Just create the filters that match what you're looking for. And now we're ready to download it as a CSV. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to File, Download, Comma Separated Values or CSV. And there you go. And there you go, you can see it's downloaded. And that download might look a little bit different depending on your browser and your computer if you're using a PC or a Mac. But most often it's just gonna to go to the downloads folder of your computer. So that's all set. We're ready to move on to step three. And step three is taking that list, that audience of ideal clients that we wanna clone and create a lookalike audience in Facebook. So let's go do that. So from here, we are going to go to business dot facebook.com you may have to sign in but that's going to take you into the meta business suite and here we are going to create an audience so we're going to go to all tools audiences and we're going to create an audience that lookalike audience that clone of all the people we want to work with and then to create this we're going to create a new source custom audience and we're gonna do a customer list. Hit next. Here it talks to you a little bit about how exactly we're gonna get these people in here, but it's pretty simple. I'm gonna hit next. Does it include a column for customer value? So if you did, I'm gonna go with no in this case. We did pull people in a certain price range, but they're already filtered for that price range, so we're just looking for people exactly like them. Now I'm gonna upload this file. If it's still downloaded in this tray down here, I can just click and drag it up. Otherwise you can click that upload file and find it in your downloads folder. And I can name it here. I'm gonna call this ideal clients and hit next. From here, we just need to map the fields that we think are important. For example, it already did country phone number this is great, super helpful. I'm gonna hit this action needed. There's 82 here that I could map. You don't need to do all of them. You only need to do the ones that you think are important to signal to Facebook exactly who this person is. So that would be stuff like their address, their zip code, email, phone number. You're just trying to give Facebook enough information about these clients so that Facebook can find them in their database if possible and match them up within the network to find other people like them. So just go through here. And map up these fields. 
That looks good. So I did names, address, phone numbers, emails. I'm going to go ahead and hit import and create. This is ready to go. And there we go. Depending on how big your list is, it might take a little bit more time. But now we've created an audience. And the next step is to create a lookalike audience, which is basically just to hand this list of people to Facebook and say, find some people like this. That's who I want to work with. So I'm going to choose that ideal clients as my lookalike source. I'm looking for people in the United States, most likely. And then I can choose a couple different lookalike audiences. In this case, I'm only going to do one. And you can see here is a percentage. Basically, how strict should we be? How close should Facebook try to stick to this original list you gave them? And you can see as you drag this to the right, allow it to be a little bit less strict, your audience will grow. So it's totally up to you. If you gave it a great list of people and you want to keep it pretty targeted, just keep this down at 1%. If you gave it a pretty tiny list and you want a broader audience to advertise to, maybe bring it up to nine or 10%, maybe five or 6%. I'm going to stick with 1%. This looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and create this audience. And that's it. You can see it's now populating. It could take quite a while to finish populating. That means Facebook has to crawl through its entire network of people and try and find people that match up with your ideal client and put them on the list. The great thing about this is this is a dynamic list. So once you start running these ads, it's going to target those people on this list in a week. This list will refresh with a bunch of new people who also match who also fit that lookalike profile. So you don't have to go through this and do this over and over. Facebook has this automatic refreshing audience. You could hop in anytime and advertise to, and pretty soon those people will start coming in as leads and you're going to have a bunch of clients that look like your favorite type of clients that you love to do deals with. So that's it. That's how you can use the Google Sheet Sync to create this Facebook lookalike audience and clone your favorite type of client so that you can do deals with that type of person all throughout the year. If you have any questions or ideas or need any help setting up the sync from Google Sheets to your database, shoot us an email, give us a phone call. We're API Nation connecting the world's applications. We love doing this stuff.